All right, this exercise is a very simple one, and the, the whole focus of it is what's called the snap mode of the assembly editing. So we're gonna go ahead and first off, we're gonna to try to connect this part here, which is called the front truck. We're gonna to try to connect it to this part, which is the front riser. So in order to do this, you could create a relationship with a fasten mate and identify two connection points. But we're going to try to do it a different way. And I imagine that this would be very useful if you had a ton of just little parts that you've inserted and you want to quickly just plop them where they're supposed to go. This would be a quick way to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the snap mode. So that's the first step. Find the snap mode in the, the menu at the top. Click to enable it, it turns a light blue color. And then the next step would be to identify which two parts would be easiest to match together. So I'm gonna use a reference point on my truck here. I'm gonna choose this spot on this surface and I'm gonna connect it to this spot on the riser. So I'm gonna go ahead and orbit so I can see the inside of the circle and I'll identify that as a point to grab. So let me zoom in a little bit. So I'm grabbing right there, grabbing this object. Well, it's not doing anything. Let me make sure I'm on the object. Ooh. There we go. And then I'm going to match it up with that hole on the surface of the riser. So it's I'm, I'm clicking and holding. And then once they get close to some, something that it identifies as a connection point, it'll just snap it in place. That's why it's called snap mode. So then once it's lined up, you just simply release the mouse and it will be put in place with a fasten mate. I'm gonna go ahead and go through that process one more time so you get a handle on how this is supposed to work. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that and then undo my step. So I'm gonna go, I'm still in the snap mode. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the part. So this is the part where it's supposed to save time, where you just kind of identify a spot, click and hold, and then line up the parts. Once they're lined up, you simply release the mouse button, your click, and then it just snaps it in place with a fasten mate. So that's step one, we're done with that one. Click the check mark to accept it. Next we need to connect two front wheels. The first thing I need to do is insert those parts. So I'm gonna find the insert button at the top. And then these are assemblies. So I'm gonna go ahead and find, the, go to the assemblies tab. And I'm gonna click on front wheel. I'll drag that out, whoops, just click on it. And then click anywhere to place one. I'll eventually need two of them, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab another one and then click and place it somewhere. I'm done inserting parts, so I'll click the check mark. And then so for this one, um, it's easiest if I have a reference point at the top, which I do right now. So let me just go ahead and try this. This will be quick and easy. If you don't see this, I'll show you the step on the next wheel, how to create that point. So let me go ahead, I'll do the this side first. Let me grab it right here. I'm gonna to try to grab this part and then connect it right here where it's supposed to be. Which I'm gonna release now. And everything is fine except for the direction of the wheel. So it's it's in instead of out. So I simply need to reverse the primary axis. And now, and now that's correct. So now I can click the check mark to accept that. So if you don't find an option to align a mate, you can get out of the snap mode and then find the mate connector option. Just go ahead and place your own mate right there. Now I'll go back into the snap mode. First, click the check mark that accepts the mate connector. Now I can go back into the snap mode and then grab it right here and then try to connect it right there. It snaps right in place just like I want it and then release the mouse 
and now we have that quick fasten mate created. Click the check mark. And then the last step is since these are intended to be objects that rotate, I'm going to go ahead and get out of snap mode. And if I were to grab the wheel, it doesn't do anything because it's simply fastened in place. So I'm going to change those relationships to a revolute mate. So let me go in to the list over here. And I have a mate connector that's still visible. I'm just going to go ahead and hide that. I'm going to go into my Fasten, just right click it, and then I'm going to choose to edit. And instead of Fastened, I'm going to choose Revolute from the menu, and then click a check mark. And I'll just test to make sure that that's working. Now I'm able to revolve that wheel around. I'll do the same thing for the other side. But instead of right clicking this one, I'm just going to double click to get inside it. So it's the same thing as editing it. And now I can change this to a revolute relationship, which allows it to rotate. And I'm going to click the check mark. So now I can spin this one as well. So that was a very quick and easy exercise, just an introduction to the snap mode of editing in the assembly.